Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Service Rendered Show. I'm Bruce Wilson, Executive Director of Service Rendered Incorporated. And um, this is actually the Straight Talk Vermont show. <laughs> well, I was talking to my guest here, Joe, about how many different shows we had, and so I stuck on my own show. That's good. But, uh, <laughs> well, Straight Talk Vermont is a program of uh, Service Rendered Incorporated. It's been around since 1999. Actually, it's, uh, we do a lot of things within the community. We do a lot of things. Um, and like uh, helping individuals with the goals, their dreams, their aspirations. Um, we teach uh, um, classes within um, communities around um, how to get better in life and work with a lot of partners. And, um, and so I'm very proud to, um, to be able to host that, this show and it's being a part of one of our programs. Um, I just want to make an announcement about our Art So Wonderful Art Gallery. It's in the University Mall. We love that place. Um, it's like for um, youth and families and to come and check out what's going on with the arts in, in the communities. Our arts gallery are from artists from around Vermont. And uh, we have a lot of, you name the art, and it's in there, including sculptures. And a lot, some people, uh, I was just in there because we were renovating it the other day, and somebody was saying to me that it looks like an art museum. And so how cool is that, you know what I mean? That's great. It's like an art museum. So today, our guest, I'm with uh, my friend and our wonderful guest, Joe Carton, and he's a chief operating officer for uh, West, West, Westport, Westport Hospitality. Westport Hospitality. So, Joe, wow, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, Bruce. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I mean, God, you know, it's so much a pleasure for me to have you on because we go back a long ways, and um, oh, wow, and I think from the um, was the Radisson Hotel. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what year was that, Joe? Uh, well, it was in the 90s. Right in the <laughs> yeah. 90s. The I Radisson. think that changed to a Wyndham in 1999 and yeah. then to a Hilton that it is today. But, yeah, uh, like it's kind of right next door to your places. Yeah. Um, and so since the, I mean, um, those times that, that we um, were part of all those hotels was um, you helped us sponsor us with youth events that we would put on for youth around the, Primarily around Chittenden County, you know, congratulating them and celebrating um, them graduating from um, high school and, you know, and even doing a back to school um, events. And boy, I remember we was using like uh, the Adirondack Ballroom, man. <laughs> and I'm like, that place holds like 500 people. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> you know, youth will come from all around the county and we have like a, and it was free for them and we have refreshments and DJs and, you uh, know, and God. And because of that, you know, we um, we continue to do those those type of events around this um, county, Chinni County, and um, we still do that same type of thing. We got like one, two. We got some events coming up um, with youth on boards mm -hmm. from, uh, that we that we created for the city of Burlington at the Contours Auditorium on April twenty second, and we have it on June seventh at the same same deal at the Contours Auditorium. And then we got. Um, Oh, before that, we had one May something <laughs> at the um, <laughs> T-Rex Theater in oh, nice Essex. That's going to be so nice. That's great. We're going to perform on, 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 on that stage. T-Rex Theater is the largest um, theater within the Essex experience. And it's going to be like, youth going to be like, you know, it's called Youth Takeover, you know. Yeah, that's and, terrific. Um, youth going to be um, performing and, you know, we're going to have like dance and music and poetry. Everything we've always done when we worked, you know, with, when we was doing it at the Marriott, I mean at the um, uh, uh, Hilton Hotel, mm -hmm. you know. So we continue to do that, you know. Well, that's one of the great things about uh, being able to have a hotel and space mm -hmm. that you can invite people into. Uh, and oftentimes, uh, a lot of kids don't get to go into those spaces. That's they true. don't understand, you know, what it takes to, to run them. But, uh, you know, I firmly believe yeah. ever since I got in the business that it's important to get people into your space. You know, so they feel it. comfortable with it and, you know, get a job and, no doubt. Get, you know. No doubt. And that's, and that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on is like, uh, and you said, you, you, boy, you said it right there, you know, giving the youth opportunity to go in spaces, not only go into them, but be a part of, be a part of doing some things in those spaces that they probably would never go and be a part of. And um, through the years, we've been a part of like Jazz Fest and First Nights and mm -hmm. Kids Day and we've done events at, um, um, Shelby Museum and um, you know, and parks all around the you know county, you know. And so youth usually don't necessarily 
uh, not, not to say they don't have the opportunity, maybe they don't, but we also, we make sure they, they go yeah. right to the top. We don't, we don't mess around. We don't say but sometimes you, they just don't feel welcome. And that's yeah. not really the intention, yeah. I think, or they just don't feel comfortable yeah. in a space like that or they hadn't been in. And it's been our philosophy over time is to invite people into spaces that yeah. uh, they don't normally get into. You know, and we love to do tours, and we will take you to the kitchens, and we'll take show you the laundry, and you know, it's more than just uh, the fireplace in the lobby yeah. that makes those things go. Oh man, I know, Joe, you said it all, man. You know, and so, and I, and I know that's why you do these things for uh, for our organization, um, give these youth opportunities and showcase, um, let them showcase some of their talents in a place where they can feel um, good about. And another thing about it too, when you do those things. They, uh, their goals and their dreams and aspirations, the things they want to do in life or things like perform or whatever yeah. it is, it makes them feel good and they want to work hard. It's like, geez, yeah. instead of maybe uh, doing some a cover song, they say, let me write my own song now and I'll perform it next yeah. year, you know, at the Marriott or, you know, at Hotel Vermont or something. You know? Well, they just don't know. They don't know. You know, you don't know what you don't know. So when you get introduced to things and you introduce mm -hmm. kids a lot mm -hmm. into programs, and I know we've worked together for, as you mentioned, 30 plus years wow, to try to, uh, you know, bring kids into spaces that uh, that yeah. they can f call their own. No doubt about it. Feel comfortable in them. So I don't know if you know this, Joe, but this is our ninth ye year. Knife here for yeah, straight we, talk for um for which art show uh, for uh, our art show so um, doing our arch our art show at the at the in the Marriott knife coming up on the knife here. Yeah, it seems like yesterday sometimes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to get some dates from uh, Mimi. Um, we want to we want to try to do it in um right. Well, you had the great one at Hotel Vermont a couple months ago. Yeah, that was awesome. It was a fundraiser. It was gigantic. And um the body painting individual oh. <laughs> was. Uh, yeah, was we, most unique. Oh no, we did the body <laughs> painting, man. Um, wow, and our, our girl there, um, she's she's an expert at doing it, and uh, Kadina, and she's um, she brought the um, model in, and yeah, and um, it was it was cool, you know. Um, our art director, Alondra de la Cuesta, was like, Bruce, are you sure we did? I'm like, well, we're not going to have no kids there this year, you know what I mean? We're just going to be all adults, you know what I mean? And uh, it was a great thing. And then we had um, Jack Hassan Jazz performing. And yeah. we had um, Sophia Gloria performing. You know, it Some was beautiful like, artwork. Just, oh, yeah. I mean, the talent that mm -hmm. these kids exude is amazing. So it's great to give them, uh, yeah. you know, opportunity and space yeah. to, to showcase it. No doubt about it. And like... Um, I think this year I have, I'm, um, we're writing it up, you know, so I can present it to you. So, um, it's going to be tattoo art. Oh. Yeah. You know, so um, you know, you know, it's the creativeness of tattoo artists and their. Um, it's amazing the amount of people that have tattoos. Well, you know what it is. You know, it's, it's one. We did some research. One in three people in Vermont have a tattoo. Figure that. Yeah. I'm not one of them. <laughs> no, one in three. One in three. Don't one. like needles, I guess. Nah, you know. Here's a funny story. Yeah, since we talk about, so uh, 1997. So uh, April, I, I remember this very recently. My wife, April 28, 1997, said, "Bruce, I'm gonna give you a, a birthday present." Yeah. I said, "Yo, you know." She said, "Come on, go with me." And so, so I go with her, and then she went. We went downtown to Yankee Tattoos. Oh yeah. And and uh, and so I'm I'm kind of like, damn, she's gonna put she gonna get a tattoo, you know, put my, you know. <laughs> I get little Bruce, out, on little Bruce on her. You know, <laughs> Bruce was here. Or something. <laughs> but, but it, it it's does, a family show, right, it's Bruce? A family yeah. Show, yes, yeah. yes, it's a family show. You know, but we can say that. But anyways, uh, and so wind up being, she put her horoscope <laughs> on my chest with her name on it. Scorpio, it's right here, Joe. Oh yeah, I believe it. I wasn't planning on getting no tattoos either, <laughs> yeah. and I was like. But it, well, we've been together for 27 years, two kids, and um, we went to high school. You know, so I was like, oh, oh that's what great. the hell, you know what I mean? She deserved to get her name. Yeah. But I'm telling you, Joe, and I, it's funny because I was talking to um, um, Ball Bill, who owns Yankee, this year in the week because I want him to do this, this um, piece at your place, yeah. um, art, uh, tattoo, tattoo art. art. And um, I was telling the story, and I was showing the tattoo, you know, again. And, and I, I said, you know what? I never felt like, it felt like, Joe, it felt like somebody was stabbing me and burning me at the same time. <laughs> He's, <laughs> I can still feel that. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I thought, I'm going to take this. I was like, oh, no, 
no, no. Stabbing me and burning me at the same time. He said, yeah, that's the worst spot. Place in your oh, chest. I bet, in your chest. God. So I still feel that, man. So <laughs> she got a one on me, you know. On <laughs> yeah. So anyways, but it's okay. I don't have no more tattoos. I don't plan to get no more. But I, I don't like the people who does. You know I mean? They got self-expressions and they want to put something on that, um, make them feel, you know, every morning yeah. they wake up in the morning and say faith or wisdom or something, mm -hmm. or, you know. Some inspirational. Imp inspirational thing. empowerment or stuff like that. So. Um, so I'm not mad at him, but but I thought because when I was in there, what made me think of the um, tattoo art? I was looking through their booklets of art that that they have done or are you know created and all the art around the, their wall. I'm like, wow, mm. look at those crazy designs. Yeah, can you imagine Joe? Like, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you might. I'm sure you've seen all kind of different types of tattoo art. It's some. Is that how did they even think of those things? Some of that I mean, it's like yeah, it's amazing that what they can create with the <laughs> the dots and the yeah. So I know it's gonna be very famous at this. Um, we're not gonna handle, we're not gonna handle by doing no tattoo or nothing in there. It is more like a showcase and let them show. You know, we'll have um, show, maybe they'll they'll sell some of their art mm -hmm. and um, maybe some of their paraphernalia. Um, and I know it's a lot of you know since um, Bob Bill. Was the uh, Yankee tattoos was like the number one? I, it was no one else. He said it was one more person in in that, the state or in Burlington. Yeah, yeah. The, other than him, and he's he's like nationally known. Um, Ball Bill was his name. National. He go to Vegas all the time. They got some stuff coming up in Vegas this period, and um, and so because I, we know it's going to be like very popular, you know, um, and so. Um, and that's something we, we did the graffiti art before, you know what I mean? Um, but we never did the, uh, this is different. A lot of the graffiti artists, it was so funny, this, this kid in there at uh, Yankee Tattoos named Jason um, is a tattoo artist, and he always was good. And then and I walked in there, and he was like, Bruce, Bruce. I'm like, he said, this is Jason. I'm like, hey, Jason, you know. He said, I was the first guy who did the, the graffiti. The graffiti on, you know, who put a mural on one of your locations. And he was telling Bob Bill, Bruce gave us, you know, we had to go through this program, you know. Well, that's when I think I first met you was in the graffiti abatement yeah. program that you put together in those days. Yeah, because we was like, I was like, Joe, some graffiti on your, on the. And your building oh, needs to come off. We need to get that off. Yeah. And um, well, thank you, by the way. Well, man, I always act, I, I pray that no graffiti come on your building, you know. And and I, when I'm around, I check. I walk around it too. I do, mm -hmm. and I check and say, make sure. I say, oh, thank God, no. Well, Higher power, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so Jason was like, he was telling Bob Bill, like, man, they let, they let us put up murals up here. I mean, and they was named some other kid that had to go to the restorative justice piece. And then um, they brought all the paint. He said, man, they brought us like 80 cans of paint. And da, 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 this, and that. He knew the stories better than I did, you know. <laughs> and then, um, and so here was another, another reason why I said, yeah, we need to do this the graffiti, um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> You know, uh, tattoo out yeah. it, because because this kid, he's a he's a measurement. He's a story. You know, now he's actually doing something. Right. He's not bombing the walls no more. And he was talking about, yeah, remember we used to go around bombing the walls and all this stuff that he used to do. Yeah. You know? Now you, you know? take that and earn a living and yeah, you know. And, and, uh, you and so he's a measurement. And it's art. He's in Bruce. This is my art right there. I'm looking around like, jeez, Christ. He got all this beautiful art that he created. I'm thinking, wow. That's true. Right now. And then part of it is because. We said to him, and people like him, is, um, listen, we're so, I believe in restorative justice, you know what I mean? So let's, let's go clean the graffiti. Well, I'm going to help you get this well, graffiti off the wall. Yeah. And How do those conversations go when you, you know, in the restorative justice, yeah. when you're well, the telling whole a kid is, that, hey, this is, was the wrong thing, let's uh, hmm. try to turn it around. Right. So the whole thing about, um, God, I'm a founder member of the Community Justice Center yeah, in the state. And so the, how it works is, um, we try to help individuals identify the things that, um, that well, we try to help them to uh, understand what the harm they've done within the community or individuals or whatever, whatever. Right. You know, and just instead of saying, Bruce painted the wall, that's worth six yeah. months, give him six, whatever. No. Yeah. We like, Bruce painted the wall. First of all, he painted the wall without talking to Joe, getting permission to paint the wall. Um, Joe now got to pay for. Uh, paint yeah. to you know people to come get it off um, now because they it's a seem like a popular place Joe's got to put cameras up there so they can catch the people that do it and um, 
it's a um, grimy spot for visitors and people who come to his places. They don't want to go down this way because it's grimy right. looking and all this, you know. And so um, this is the harm that you've caused. And also, and then um, they, would they have um, like a person like a, uh, one of the, like a testimonial person, like the, let's say my friend, you know, like uh, I'm, I did the graffiti, but here my friend is woman, he's testifying too. He's like, Bruce, now when I'm walking down the street with you, everybody think I'm like you. Yeah. Like I go around bombing around, so now, so now they know, now you know what the harm is, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's what I liked about the restorative justice. But you gotta make a, um, in order to really make it work, you gotta still help people with their, their goals and aspirations, which you right. know, you help me do that every, i say, Joe. Can you help me? <laughs> and you say yes. But but um, and so we say, let's clean this up now. And then and everybody should help because you never know when somebody else your wall might be bombed. Right. And you should help this even though he's an offender clean this stuff up. And then so we do that. Say so he might have 25 hours, 50 hours to do the community service, clean the wall up, and da da da. But then the other 24, I guess what? You get to put a mural up there, something right. nice you can show your mama. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can um. Police can hand you a damn paintbrush, you know, they can be your paint, you know. And so, so that's, so they'd be like, huh? They can't believe it. Yeah, that's terrific that you can turn that around and make it a positive and. They can't, they don't believe it. They don't believe that we're going to get them, the other part of their community service is to. Create the wall, create, create the a wall. new wall, a new look. Yeah. And we'll help you. We'll buy all the paint. Yeah. They're like, huh? And, and, um, and so that's so, man, people went on to, um, we've, we have some great stories about people like, like, um, I'm not gonna say his name, but people like um, uh, the person who I'm talking about, and who um, some people have um, started to put their art on their um, their work on on um, canvas. Yeah, and and they were selling art like crazy at their Marriott through our uh, graffiti art program, and um, a few of these people like you'll see on a big piece and all to incredible people that was yeah, paying that like, terrific, like. Up to a thousand dollars a pop, you know what I mean? And um, and then one kid like wanted to go to college, and um, it, it, we show, we showcases are that uh, your place, Echo Center, Daily Planet, you know mm -hmm. we put it in. So because he started putting on um, yeah. cameras, and we started sell, when we were selling that everywhere, you know we was um, I mean he was selling them at those places. Then he said, Bruce, I want to go to college. So he went to like uh, arts college. God, and then he was showing me art some years ago, or years ago. Showing me art in like a neighborhood museums. That is, that was his art in there. <laughs> yeah, that's like, terrific. Good for him. What you know, all we did was help him with his goals. And that's when we didn't say, we didn't say you should be a carpenter. You know, and he said I want to be a doctor. We're going to, to we're going to introduce you to Doctor Lewis yeah. first or whoever somebody. You know, I mean, we're not going to introduce you to some carpenter. Right. And you want to be a doctor? That's what we're going to do. You know. Yeah. You can change your mind. When many people change their mind about things they want to do out there, we introduce them to the person that they, to the profession that they wanted to, to be. Right. You know, but they stuck on with something different. You know. And that's part of the our goal is to bring kids into the hotels as well, mm -hmm. is for them to understand that hey, I could be a chef, or I mm -hmm. I could be a, you know, the head of the accounting department or whatever. Why not? <laughs> Man, when you said I want to be a chef and my stomach growling, I can't be eating something at Blue right now or the Hen in the Woods. <laughs> God, I mean, Blue Restaurant, the oh, Seafood, oh, at the Marriott, mm 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 mm. So, I'm no, glad you like it. Yeah, That's well, good. since I, I'm going to switch off. So, how did, how did it come up with the, it was B L U B L U E A, right? B L E U. E U. So how did that happen? I mean, how did you come up well, with Well, we were. Uh, we wanted to find a, uh, a restaurant that wasn't being served, the cuisine. And uh, when we first opened uh, Blue, mm. it was uh, Northeast Seafood, mm. which kind of takes in the parameters of, you know, Quebec and Atlantic Canada and New England and kind of the Northeast. And so we thought Blue, obviously, is water. Right, and that right, in indicates right. seafood, and so we've evolved since then. We uh, renamed it Northeast Blue Northeast Kitchen, mm. so it's not singularly mm -hmm. directed towards seafood, but it's a, it's a great uh, yeah, I evening I out. I say people all the time, you want to know, where should I eat? I'm like, right down there and go to the blue. Yeah. You know, and I... <laughs> well, that's, thank you for that. <laughs> well, sir, yeah, <laughs> man, listen, it's not, I, you know, I don't have to make it up, John. You know, I don't have to make up that the Hotel Vermont got was built from um, woods and um, 
different things from around Vermont. You know, it was yeah. created from art. What, what should I say? How should I say that? It yeah, local lo products. Local products of, around Vermont. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't. I don't have to make that up. It's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, and if they want to just be in a room and, and know that all the stuff come from around Vermont, that how wonderful is that? Yeah. You know, and, and um. How's it in Hinton in the Woods? It's, not, it's good. It's a too. beautiful restaurant, and Eric Warnstead does a great job running yeah. that. For, so that's in Hotel Vermont, right? Yeah, we lease that space to Eric, to uh -huh. the Hen of the Wood group, yeah. and uh, they do a fabulous job. And it's great, uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, partnership. Yeah. Now, do they have another one somewhere? They do in Waterbury. Really? And they also have uh, uh, Prohibition Pig mm -hmm. in Waterbury. Oh, okay. And uh, one in Stowe. Well, you know, it was funny about, oh, I think I know about the ones in uh, Waterbury, because I used to get to go up there, do some, with the Department of Correction, I had to do a lot of meetings there. And so we would stop right on the strip up down before you get to the mm -hmm. DLC, and that's where they are, right down there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but the blue, that's my favorite, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so, kind of quieter than some of the others. Yeah, yeah, and plus you got, the, you got the bar right on the other side, and, you know, you sometimes you have, like, you have soft music playing, some live soft music, mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of times. And um, it's a good sitting space. You know, people be conversating by the fireplace. Yeah, and, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And when I come see you, I'm like, damn, he can take it all the time he wants. <laughs> Slow down, Joe. I just can I sit here and you know, don't even. I can wait here for a long time. I like sitting there. Just read, you got the free newspapers and then you have uh, refreshments there, and, like cook, those d d delicious cookies, chocolate chip cookies you have there, and the, mm -mm -mm, coffee and water. You know, just 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 for people just. Who were just waiting or sitting there just chilling, you know? And I'd be like, slow down, Mimi, slow down. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to leave right yet. I don't want to leave right now. Don't worry. Who, uh, I just got two more cookies in my name on here. I started in the hotel business in the sales side. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, negotiate with this tour operator out of Philadelphia, and he would come to Burlington to visit. And at that time, I had a uh, office that overlooked Lake Champlain. Mm -hmm. Don't today, but then I did. Mm -hmm. And so he goes, I, Joe, I want to come and talk to you Friday at 5. He figured I had to leave at five, and but he goes, "You never gave me a good rate. You just like sitting out, looking out the window, <laughs> saw the lake. <laughs> so I could never get out of there because I had to quit it." <laughs> I know, man. It's so awesome. Then you got the views out there from uh, you. You right there on Lake Champlain. God, what what nice views you have. Well, yeah, the, the whole community's got those views. I just don't have them. Well, not from your office, because I'm like, <laughs> "What Joe are you in hotel room?" I'm like, "You know, you ain't got no view there." But another thing too, Joe, you know, we we both been kind of like um, looking forward to this and, and for the BTV plan, mm -hmm. where it's that um, that this trip was college, what's that street, Cherry Street, right, run down to the lake. Oh yeah, how wonderful is that? Yeah, we just gotta get everything uh, reorganized there. You know, the city place has to get built. The all the landscaping and design work needs to be done to beautify that Cherry Street because I think uh, it's a big opportunity. Well, it's only one side you're going to be able to do, right? Because what else on the other side? I mean, you got the court building and everything else going up that way. It's like, and you got, well, you got that church there. So I think mm, St. Paul's somebody, Church. Somebody um, bought it, I think. Oh, yeah, the cathedral. But, it's, I but mean, it's we just got to focus a little more as a community on that yep. street. I know why we've been waiting, but. Uh, We've got uh, two beautiful properties at the end of it, and we want to make sure that uh, yeah. and the streets it, are paved. And the no doubt, but I want to see high school there. And let me say a funny thing. Well, before I say the funny thing, is that, you know, College Street is an incredible street, you know what I mean? But it really, like, you know, you just walk into College Street to hurry to get down to the bottom to Echo or to right. the waterfront. You're not, you don't you're, stop. You don't, you don't, you're not trying to go, you know, see um. um Burlington Bay, you know, with Go Bang's place, but we're not trying to, you know, it's nothing really, nothing scenario, you know, it's nothing there you really want to give us a crap about, you know what I mean, you know, going down the street. Yeah. You're just trying to get down to the bottom. And so, but Cherry Street, your street, it's something you can see, you know, from the Church Street all the way down, you know, I mean, you got your buildings, you got Hotel Vermont, you got the Marriott, you got the um, um, Downwind Investors Prop City Place coming up. Um, what a scene! They they open up. They about to open up two streets and green space and right. all this stuff, you know. And so, how incredible that's going to be! You should be able to go down to the bottom. You should have to go back. 
south yeah. to uh, to go down, you should be able to go. You know, yeah, it'd be like in Quebec City if you have a funicular, right. it will take you right down from the hill right what to the water. Like gonzola, I mean, what is a gondola. Like the gondola. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna. I think that was cool, but you know, still, still they did it there. Um, they always on church. They, that would have been a good thing for them, but I don't think uh, you know, and would help promote skiing, snowboarding mm -hmm. in Vermont. But I don't you'd love I, to see a gondola from uh, UVM to Church Street or to something. the waterfront. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Or I bet it's a little bit of a dream, but I know I think it'd be cheaper just to go ahead and build the damn steps down at the bottom. It just tear the yeah. damn thing somehow. But it's a steep way down. But you can't really put no. You can't put down like, you know, like stairs like. Like, you know, like you're going down in a mountain, you know, like, you know, I don't think you could do that. It's kind of liability reasons, but you got to make it really like. Well, I'm no group. engineer, but I know you can put stairs if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> yeah. put stairs. I mean, but not not like like if you're going down a mountain, you know, like you're in some yeah. fancy, you know, some fancy country or something. You got to go down the stairs and, oh, look at that, there's a water, you know. Yeah. You know, I think, um, I don't know how you could do it, but um, I know you can put stairs down there, right? You can put some flat stairs, put some flat stairs. Yeah. Stairs down there. And, but but the thing is that you gotta you gotta lay it out where it says not like nine million stairs. Yeah. And then how you get the seniors there down there, you know, even um, I don't know. And then so um, I don't know how you do that, but I I know it can be done. Cause it's <laughs> it would open, be great if it could. It's an open space. There's nothing down there. I mean, I think you got um Main Street Landing or somebody own like six acres or something. They might have part of that down yeah, there. Yeah, I think they do. Well, I'm sure they want to get people down there. I know they do. So, so my dear friend, Oisa Makuku, is now the uh, Main Street Landing CEO. Oh, that's terrific. She's awesome. You know, it's nice to see her down there. She's she's very important. In, oh, such know. beautiful buildings and mm -hmm. really a treat really. for the waterfront for, yeah. to have those there. And Yeah, you know, this is, it is. And so all you got to do is come right down and boom, it's a space right between it. This is perfect to come, come right straight down. And I want to see that. So that Well, don't you love what, you know, I think there's two theories of thought on the waterfront. I, I love what it is today, it's, mm -hmm. and I know it's, it's hard to get there, yeah. you know, 20 or 30 or 40 years ago. <sighs> but a lot of good decisions were made to get us there, because my wife, for example, grew up in Sandusky, Ohio, right on Lake Erie. Beautiful little town, 25,000 people, but locals can't get on the water. <laughs> If they don't own it, if they don't own the land, <laughs> right. there's no beaches. Like, yeah. we've got two beautiful beaches, mm -hmm. all available. Yeah. So it's uh, really we kudos to Burlington. Just, just so you know, we, we had rock shows on the North Beach. We had a waterfront park. Um, let it, we've done, done all the many, many, many events down on those um, beaches and parks, you know, because, you know, something you were sponsoring. You, you probably don't remember because you sponsored so much stuff from us. But... Um, we have, you know, we used to have rock shows every yeah. year at North Beach with um, um, the Wiz 107 oh, yeah. point something, and 99 The Buzz, yeah. rock bands down there. And w -I -Z -N. I w I Z N, you know, with uh, Dan Dubonet. Yeah. You know, they, they were sponsoring our stuff. And, uh, oh, what was, uh, what was the first, what was before they sold it? Uh, what was it, Ernie? Uh, oh, God, he's on, um, he's on that radio station, Sky. Oh, I, I don't know. But he was, um, our guy, uh, you know, but um, I miss those shows down there. And we had like we had rock shows, bounce, bounce houses for the kids. Oh, we had stuff all going all the way down, to, free for the you know, Ben and Jerry's. And, you know, yeah, we got to remember as a community, keep those things going, mm -hmm. keep the activity vibrant. And, you know, it's just sure not enough. for locals. The visitors love to see them too. And sure. I think anytime you can get people enjoying themselves, yeah. it's a positive yeah. thing. No doubt about it. And like, um, and all our events, you know, let's just, if it's not indoors, you know what I mean, where we need, like, or earn a nickel or something, it's all free. And the most of our events are out, outdoors. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and, and the goal for us is to, like, um, is exactly what you're saying, you know what I mean? It's like uh, give an individual, uh, like, uh, part of our mission statement is to get people uh, educated around drugs and not call tobacco, give them a safe place where there's no drugs, in, uh, give, where they can get resources through this information, and have healthy outlets. Right. You know, we have, get, we have a program called Get Fit for Mont. You know what I mean? It's youth working with, uh, like, uh, skiing and snowboarding and walking and yeah. you know, all these type of things and for years. And, um, and so we do these events, and, like, most all our events coming up, like, even the ones that they are at uh, T-Rex come, it's like we're only going to charge a dollar to donate a dollar to our space. And uh, so we got to hustle, like, a couple thousand, but um. Now, do you uh, partner with other people in the Essex community on when you do the T-Rex? City, we're going to do the city, yeah. city of Essex, 
and um, uh, we, we were working with the Rotary um, businesses down there. Um, um, so um, we have to, you know. So, yeah, that's <laughs> you know, the way to do it. I know, you know, it's like we always still don't meet our goal, but I mean, we meet our goal, but we don't, you know, like I'm saying, like I had to come back to joke and, you know, at the end or whatever. And then, um, but, but, uh, you know, we do. We have done events like free pool at the Main Street Pool, like a right hip hop by the oh, pool. Yeah. You know, and the whole goal is to like um, feel good. Well, your three on three basketball tournament. That's right. You do. For 15 years, Joe, mm -hmm. at the Roosevelt Park. That's yeah. very popular. We give free trophies and T-shirts and have music, live entertainment, and food and all that stuff. And um, and, and we we was gonna do a, you couldn't do it. You know, last couple of years, You're but right. um. We're gonna do one, you know, and uh, it's time. People, it'd be the winter time. Like, Bruce, when are you gonna put on the basketball? Like, Come on, man, it's winter time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, it's Burlington. You can play outside in the winter. <laughs> well, that's what we did in Chicago. Oh, yeah. We'll get out, you know. We did in Northern Maine, too. We'll play early in the morning, be freezing, it's warm around the court, and all yeah. kind of crazy stuff. But that was good. And that's part of the reason why I do these things, because I get it, you know. And it helps, you know, and it make you feel good, you know. Like, and like people just don't have economics to um, to be able to pay for everything. Mm -hmm. And family should be included as well. So that's why we do our basketball tournament. We have um, like um, um, like music, a different type of collective of music genres. We have, uh, you know, we get middle school, high school, and college and college and adult teams. And we have trophies and all right. this. And we have. Um, Bounce house for the kids, and we know parents got to come. They're gonna bring their little kids to the bounce house. So we have something for everybody. Right. Which and is so, great. and so that's what we. That's what I try to do with all our events. You know, is have everybody to come out, have something for themselves, like a. Well, you got to get them off the, of, you know, the, the phone and oh, yeah. the internet to get out and wow. run around and yeah, have they, fun. Yeah, and then we have parents who is part of. That some of my youth boards, whatever parents, we make sure that they're involved in it. All of them know me because I'm not your traditional executive director, and they know that. Um, so now you need, we need your help to uh, host the bounce house. Right. You know, like kids when when they bounce up, we need you there to chaperone this. Yes. Right. Make sure they're safe. That's right. So and they like that because they want to have opportunities to do too. Right. You know, and um, we got some stuff coming up where parents are going to help us with. Uh, like uh, knitting, uh, knitting and crocheting mm -hmm. at the art. They're gonna, you know, we have. Uh, we're trying to build that damn back room, man. Uh, whereas they're gonna have uh, education for art and crafts and like um, these type of things for parents and youth and colleges. And, oh, where are you gonna build that? It's gonna be right at university mall. We got oh, a back yeah. room. It's like like 900 square feet or so back in the back. Right. And um, we got to do it. You know, what I'm saying it's got to got to happen. You know, what I mean, so we'll work with the high school. We'll work with the well, that's soft, we already work with the South Brown High School Arts Department. We work with um, the middle school there. I can't think of the name of it, but uh, and uh, everybody, you know what I mean. Yeah. But mostly right there, you know, because that is just where it is. Yeah, you know? right. And um, and then any parent, we we've already done things with uh, Howard Mental Health. They did this big old thing, you know, with all their um, their um, peoples, you know, um, clients did this art. I mean, it was like over 100 people. We gave them like a they won. Um, and we did, um, you know, they won money, whatever, in mm -hmm. supplies. And we did um, Nas uh, national, um, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? Working with the DEA was a um, bought, uh, anti drugs. Right. And whoever have, whoever can, um, you know, we'll pick your art. You see, um, drugs free looks like me. That was the name. Yeah, so that was cool. That's a good slogan. I know. So we had that, so they had to make a painting or something, and so we had three prizes: one fifty, two fifty, and three hundred that we got from DA or mm -hmm. some other people. Um, and these people won um, um, some other other social service organizations. I forget what they are, but we do things in our gallery. Let them use it. Um, we got something else coming up through um, CBO. They're doing their fair um, April. They do an art show every, in April or something. So I'm meeting with them, somebody. Well, it's amazing the amount of uh, students and youth you do have that are talented mm. in the arts. Wow, my God. You know, and you're giving them an outlet mm -hmm. to actually show it and right. participate. Well, it's so far, I get a story. So, and, I, and, and um, we hear, you know, it went, in his thing, like we're talking about all about my stuff, but you are our stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't happen without you. For real, for real. I'm well, not you do even... a good job of reaching out, yeah. you know, when you need help. Jesus and... Christ, man. I'll be like so. crying almost. But uh, we, so, um, 
So uh, we work with um, Vermont um, University of Vermont Art Club mm. and the president um, Patrick Mann. And so Patrick, you know, we met him. We was doing some mural somewhere, else. and um, he came up to me and he told me, "I'm the UVM, you know, Art Club president." Yeah. I'm like, "Shit, I'm important. That's that's very important, you know. What I mean, it really it is. Yeah. And plus, for me, I'm thinking like, wow, we can get a lot done work, <laughs> right, working yeah. with you, you know. What I mean, you know, because I'm thinking like a lot of resources, a lot of resources, and so." I said, Patrick, if you want to work with, if you want to do some murals and things like that, then you you need to work with us, and you and you you know you you won't be believed what you'll be doing. He like you know yeah 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 kind of like you know, and so so and, and you know me I don't like I don't like next week I'm like the next day you gonna be you know? <laughs> and so um so he was like so he he did a mural on um he helped build he did up our Asiana house he did to help do the mural on um University Mall he helped doing um. The mural on um, Pearl Street Beverage, and he was doing. He was on our, you know, he was like uh, on our TV, on our TV shows. He was on a part of uh, on our uh, social media. I mean, well, like a Channel Three and come yeah. interview our, our big director. champion. Yeah. So all of a sudden, now here's so here it is, Joe. So here's a guy. Now all of a sudden, I'm the, I'm the director. I mean, the um, president of the art club at UVM, and, and look what he got to talk about. And from like one day on to, on to the next, you know, I, we've done the one in the UVM. Where's the Yana House? We just that, you know, and they come out and they talking to him, right? Right. And then we're doing this one on Pearl Street Beverage, and da 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 da. So now, wow, how big, how important are they? You know, and then how important. We are because yeah. of him, and so that's what we do. And like, and I said, I told you, Patrick. You know, <laughs> well, they want to get invested in the community Ooh, too. No, that's what he, but he didn't know he was going to get into it like that. <laughs> that yeah. deep, that deep. I'm like, you, oh yeah, mm, okay, we got you, buddy. <laughs> and so, great. but the good thing about it is, like, now he got things he can put on his resume, his press kit. You know, he can apply for scholarships for art, for you know, get his MFA or whatever, you know. And so, because uh, of these things, because nobody, I don't, we don't know, I don't know nobody like you in charge of things that they are like in charge of what we do. Mm. You know, they and you literally in charge. Our art director is only twenty, well, she's two, twenty-four now, Alondra, and uh, she's, uh, was, you know, she's been with us from over two years now, and she's like she, she's curator and art. That's and terrific. She works with Mimi and you know, you know. Yeah. But so, and, and our uh, coordinators, our event coordinators, is like we have high school ones and college ones. They're all young because our age group is 14 to 25. So we only want to, we don't only want, but people who are in that age group should run our pro, should be right. co coordinating our programs. It makes more sense, you know, because um, I've well, got they to understand what the that age bracket wants and mm -hmm. what they're into, and mm -hmm. that's good. And I be talking to them, I'm like, you know, the habitat club, like um, we should do this, of this. And um, you know they say, well, Bruce, you know if we had to use the color uh, pink, then we would have got more kids. You know I said so. I said, but we use, but did you use the color blue? And so that's why we didn't get nobody. Yeah. And I'm like, so I'm like. Yeah, like we always say in the hotel business, we're not the target market. That's right. Joe Carton's not the target that's market. That's right. So we have to know what other people want to buy. Right. That's right. So yeah, I, so I left that alone many times. And another thing too, like I remember my expressions dance company that we did at do we do at um we used to we're about to start it back up because we've got a wonderful freshman coming in from she's um Caroline. It's coming from um uh, New Jersey, she lives on New Jersey Beach or something, and she's coming in as a freshman in April, and she's gonna take over our expression dance company and our theatrical piece because that's what she does, and um, and I'm so happy about it because now we're we'll able to put those shows back. She's about to do a, actually she's gonna put a, a like a musical, a piece skits in like a SNL pieces oh, really? at, at uh, T Rex T Rex and you know. Oh, that at, sounds great. Yeah, I know she's about to put that on. So and so, I just remember a story when through our last one years ago where our um, Expression Dance Company, um, and they would do um, like ballet and hip hop and modern dance, you know, type stuff, and and showcase it at the uh, Contours Auditorium. And then when I'm sitting, because I got to sit through all the practices, you know, I got to be adult, some adult got to be there, right? Blah blah blah. And then so I remember one uh, one of our choreographers was saying to one of the, her, one of the students, like, "Why don't you put an attitude mood in this, you know?" And so um, so the girl, she said, "Yeah, okay." So they did, and then the girl just turned around, right? And I'm like, "Come on." You call that attitude? Put some damn attitude in this. Yeah. And he looked at me like, 
Bruce, that was perfect. I didn't know it was a move. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you on the move with attitude? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. I, yeah, I didn't know that that was a type of move you make. You know, like the attitude was a move, like a like a the pirouette. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I like from that point on, that was a shot yeah, from. Yeah. I'm out of this. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're like, not talking to you, Bruce. I'm like, are you gonna? Are you? Come on, put some attitude in this damn thing. Come on, you call that attitude? You know. <laughs> so, That's good. So I've had examples like that through the years. You know, whereas that just like. Just shut up, man. <laughs> my job is to get the building, get the insurance, get the security, get, you know what I mean? That's right. That's and then just job. let them do their let thing. Let them do their thing, you know? <laughs> and I learned that. And so um, it's so funny because um, I learned that a lot because, uh, you know, we're sitting on all these, you know, advisories for youth and blah, blah, blah. One time I was in Rutland. I had our director there, um, Shannon, and uh, our youth director, you know, our youth board director, Shannon. Was, and we was at a meeting. And all the, and I, because every, I don't care if it's with, who, if you, I don't care if with the governor, the, whoever the hell it is, if, if it's about, were you for Jenna Ida's on it, I'm bringing a youth for me. Yeah. This makes sense to me. And so, um, so I took her to her, this meeting that um, all these directors were talking about what they were doing and what they do. For youth. So, for youth, right. You know, and so, um, so when they were all saying these wonderful things, ladies, oh, we had 25 kids came to this dance. And, Kinda, I'm thinking that's good. 25 kids, you know, I mean, where there's no drugs, knock off tobacco, you know, this, that, and that. How, how wonderful that. One kid, yeah. you know what I mean? And then so, this, so they said, Bruce, we know you had a big dance here. It was this Rutler. Big dance here in one of your spaces. Um, what happened? How was it? So I look at Shannon, and Shannon goes, she, go, she put her head down and go, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> and then I'm like, Shannon, you know, and then, uh, they say, oh, what's wrong, Shannon? It didn't go right. She said, no. You know, she said, the rest of our youth board said we're gonna, we were not going to show our face, show their face in town no more. And that's what she said at the event. <laughs> in the South. They said, we ain't going to show our face in town no more. And they said, oh, man, what happened? And she, they said, well, how many people came? And she said, 185. They said, 185 you? She said, yeah. She, they, she said, it was a flop. And they said, oh, oh they wanted Two times that? Well, you know, because they normally do. They get over yeah. 300. She said, we usually get over 300. Because we were like in like a Mill Rivers, um, Rutland High School, yeah. uh, Otter Creek, you know what I mean? So they always get over 300. Yeah. And anywhere we do things like, when we do college, it's over 800. You know, so, but, so, <laughs> so I, I was laughing at the event, because I'm like, here's 185 kids in here. I'm laughing at them, you know, I'm like, I can't believe it. Yeah, you got to set the heights and, higher. And, yeah, you know, and they they like we're like well, how much more time is you know I mean they try to wait get it over with. and um and um I'm thinking y'all got 185 kids in here and you call it a flop and you ain't gonna show your face around town no more and I'm thinking so I'm laughing at that day at the event and, I was, and I'm still laughing as you can tell oh uh, how funny was that so but the point is why they get 180 while we get why they got 185 kids there and or 300 whatever it is is because they plan it. They bring their peers in. Oh yeah. And uh, it's not. I don't do it. Right. I, like I said, I do. You need to build it. That you like that. Okay, let's go look at it. Oh, you like the, like the stage. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. So I got to bring the security. You know what I mean? I got to bring in doing the insurance. I got to mm -hmm. all these things that that my job is. My job is fast. So I'll be like, hey guys, my all my stuff is done. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's ready. <laughs> it's ready for you. It's ready. You so what, 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 what about you? You know? So they be like, oh, your stuff always quick because I can, you know, I can do it fast because it's not really, you know. It's, it's just, behind the it's scenes. It's just something we've been, yeah. we've done over 700 events, so it's like, it's it's just a no-brainer yeah. kind of, um, you know, well, it is a brainer because I got to figure out how I'm going to get the money, but it's a really no-brainer how the steps to, to take, you know. Right. And so, um, so we still, so it's the same with today, you know what I'm saying? And um, and so we continue to do these things that these wonderful youth come up with. They come up with some incredible stuff. And I want to do it, you know, I want to do it, you know. And then I want to lift them up because, like, if they're doing something like dance or music or, or all these in, or IT or gaming systems, if they chilling in our, one of our centers or whatever, if they doing that, guess what? They're not on using no drugs and alcohol or nothing. Right. They're not hanging out in the woods. We can see them. Yeah. They're like, you know, like. And they get to know each other. They get to know each other, right. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad. So since you said that, you know, we, we, you got you got a little more time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. since you said that, here's a cool one. So like we have youth advisory boards, you know, and you know, it was, like it fell apart a little bit because we COVID, but we got we bring it back together. And so we had them from um, Mill Rivers. I mean, from uh, well, uh, in that in Redland County, that's different. Mm -hmm. But we have them from uh, uh, like uh, Vermont Common School, um, Waterhouse School. Yes. Um, 
Winooski, Burlington, South Burlington, Colchester, CV, you know, and they all come together because they're always the ones who make the decisions on the events we do, rather. And uh, the good thing about it, we would do events in their their schools and their neighborhoods or wherever the hell they pick. And um, so it's so funny. It's it's so cool how they when I used to, when they used to come to the meetings because, like the ward off kids or no, to say the Vermont common kids like. And you know, we got the Winooski kids and all the Burlington, they sitting around there. And here goes the uh, Vermont um, uh, common kids. They're like, oh, God, we got to go to damn Paris again? <laughs> we just went there. We took Grandma there, and we know this damn lean, you know, this is a boy. You know, so the Winooski kids are like, Paris, you know what I mean? And then the Waldorf girls be like, well, we had so much fun. We love going through the they, 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 they're adventurous. Yeah. They like go through the woods and all. They, I never knew it was a, a yellow beetle Charlie bug in the, you know what I mean? Yes. You know, in the woods. You know, and so everybody like, you know, so the Winooski kids are looking like that. And um and and the Winooski kids or 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 Burlington kids talking about like, yeah, I'm glad we was in a we, we was in that recording school, laid down that track, that that's that, that. And so then they're all different, right? Yeah. They're all different. They all do things differently. But one thing they 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 are. They all know what the, what the color is. They all know what the, what clothes to wear. They all know what the the music is. They all know what the graphics are. Mm. They all know that. Yeah, that's a They're common. Same, that's common. Yeah. So you know, and so that's how funny is that? You know, I let those Vermont, those common school kids. Gosh. We gotta go to Paris again, you know, because they do that on like they summer they just just trips, you know. These kids go to the Echo Center, and these kids go to Paris. You know, <laughs> so how funny is that? Yeah. You know, and then the wall of girls like, oh, we go to the, you know, the national park again. You know, we can pick up something. You know. Yeah, but uh, you know, they do all go with uh, the same need mm -hmm. of wanting to be, uh, you know, noticed, wanting yeah. to be uh, lifted up, whether they're laying That's down right. the track or That's right. That's like, right. getting on the airplane. And so, and they all get along. You know what I mean? It's like it's hard, it's not hard to do. They're like, well, let's do, let's have, let's have. Um, John John Band there, or let's let's have and they all yeah John John Band you hear the new song there you know this that uh, mm -hmm. you know let's and let's have the dance there you know so this that you know yeah we should include some some backdrops where you know uh, some uh, like uh, um, bikers you know flipping and stuff right. you know and, you know so these like Vermont comic kids like let's have some f Ferrari you know something you know, you know they, you know, let's make it cool you know what I mean yeah well it's and, just so many oftentimes adults don't understand. Mm. You know, often when we were, had kids and we grew up in Essex, uh, Essex Junction, and you know, the basketball was great, but there were these two empty tennis courts behind the basketball, just nothing. Mm -hmm. So my wife and I got going, mostly my wife, and we got the rec department build a skate park there. Oh, wow. So all of a sudden, you know, there'd be two people on the basketball, 28 yeah. in the skate park. Yeah, yeah. And you see the same thing downtown. That's right. That's and right. that skate park, 11 yeah. months of the year on the waterfront, and it's packed. They do. It's great. We just um, my uh, service rendered incorporated just got to got to, we got a grant through the Vermont Community Foundation or something to uh, renovate the Winooski skate park. Oh, good. So we got it. Yeah. And we'll just turn the money over to um, City of Winooski so they can do. Well, everybody so, can do so, that. So, so, all the kids so, love it. Skate park. That's a big deal. And so you're right. A number of years ago, it's, oh, there's trouble. If you're oh yeah. Skate. No, there's no, no trouble we there. No concerts down at the skate park on the waterfront and um. Andy is one of one our we helped bring Andy up and a dog yeah Andy Williams to um we, to where he was at our United College Club program we um helped him get into the clubs Andy was the best on the deep turn mm. tables God I miss him so much but um you know I got yeah. so many members of um a dog <laughs> Andy Williams yeah man so um Joe um. So what's going on? What's going on? What kind of um, what's going on? How was it's okay? People are coming to the hotel Vermont and they are coming to stay at the Marriott, right? And so yeah. how's that? How's that? Is that? Well, I mean, obviously, I it's it was like a, it a couple was like years. A, it was difficult. Two, two years, bro. That, yeah. Down like that. That's a lot. So, um, you know, we were even closed a couple months at Hotel Vermont. Didn't take any guests and serve any meals. But uh, ah. last July, things really perked up. You know, with international travel down and the Omicron mm -hmm. hadn't surfaced yet. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, domestic travel. You know, certainly you couldn't come down from Canada, but right. we understood that. But it was very busy July through uh, end of December mm -hmm. and slowed down again. But that's typical 
January, February. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we hope this summer is going to be great yeah. again. So. Wow. So how do, you, how do you, I don't know, you had to close down the hotel room for two months, so that was a lot, long time. Yeah. It, what, uh, what months were those? Uh, was that prime? January, February, March. Then we started part time and <laughs> then kicked in gear basically, first of May. But, you know, at the courtyard, for instance, Blue was open, closed Monday, Tuesday almost all last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's 25% of your business. Wow. Wow. Just because we, one, we couldn't find uh, employees. Yeah, man. Couldn't find cooks, couldn't find uh, servers. So. If anybody out there wants to yeah. work this summer, we would uh, love to have them. No doubt about it. So, um, oh God, that's you know that's a big hit. Um, um, so now it's, it's picking up. So Joe, so let me ask you, um, <clears throat> how in the world do people? You know, we got the stimulus money, yay, and um, and so like you know, so everybody was like, okay, when well, soon that stimulus money go, people are gonna lay in low because they ain't trying to go back to work because um, we're getting the stimulus checks. And soon when that g g dry up, everybody's gonna go back to work. But Joe, people didn't go back to work, and people um, and a lot of theories on that. You know, I don't, I don't think people are, I don't think they're just sitting home on the couch. But I think a lot of people decided that I wanted to do something else. Mm -hmm. Is my theory. Oh uh, yeah, me. You I know, it's like often times in our business, um, especially in the food and beverage side, people think it's uh, transitory. You know, I'll go wait tables, make some money, and travel here or there. And oh, okay. At uh, some point, I think people, when they didn't have the job, because it's like inertia, you go to a job every day right. and you go and you go, but then they had a chance to think, oh, what do I really want to do? It kind of changed. Uh, it's starting to yeah. come back. We noticed that one, I think, because we're a good employer with benefits and we care about, uh, care about your getting the, yeah. the team member. It's like you with kids, you yeah. know, you're getting opportunities. You get in the door and if you work hard, I mean, there are opportunities yeah, yeah. in the hospitality no business, whether yeah, no it's us or, us or other companies. So uh, if you've got an aptitude for it, we certainly yeah. uh, encourage folks to mm -hmm. come and, uh, you know, I made a career out of it and a yeah. lot of the guys that I ah, work with, yeah. guys and girls. Well, boy, Joe, I don't know. So, you know, you've, you've been a part of so many major decisions on hospitality, and I know it's, God, period. You know what I mean? Just, people will listen to you, I don't care how, who, who they are in this world, based on your life experiences with this. Um, and so we, we always happy, you know, we, we have friends and know people and all, and I'm always trying to figure out, damn, I always ask you, Joe, how can I help you? And I be meaning that, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I be trying to figure out, damn. How can we help? You know, I really, really mean it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you, but, you have. But, you know, but see, we had a lot of this, you know, this, I'm just happy that you helped me with these youth and families, you know, and community and other business because, like you said, you know, like the things that we do, it's like an uplifting, and then we're, and uh, for everybody, we don't, we just, and it also give uh, individual opportunities, you know what I mean, like right. to do the things that they want to do in life and showcase their talents, you know. Well, that's what and we that's, always feel in the hospitality business, like we're on the sideline. Yeah. You know, we're just facilitating. It's like those dance that the youth have. They go and have the ball. You just set it up. Yeah. yeah. We set it up, and then we watch people yeah. enjoy themselves. Yeah, that's true. You guys do a lot. And, um. You're so creative, you know. It's like, man, I just got to see it. it was something, you know. So, so well, well, let me ask you. We don't know. You, you can have the last part in words, but what do you think about um, um, but like all these governors, not all these governors, but they got some keys. I think it's California, Illinois, and some New, maybe New York. I don't know. Talking about, don't right, kids, go to school. Take off your mask. <laughs> it's okay now. <laughs> We ain't got to wear no damn thing. Uh, and I'm like, please, somebody say they're here. But I, I don't think it's time is right But right now. But what do you think about that? Well, you know, I'm no expert. <laughs> but uh, human behavior, you know, if you have people and uh, tell them what to do, and then uh, it's all about the disease. Mm -hmm. If the disease comes down and, and people <laughs> have had COVID, mm -hmm. you probably uh, are not spreading it anymore. So... You know, we've had a, we follow at the hotels, we follow the CDC guidelines, we follow the city of Burlington guidelines, and sometimes we're even uh, more strict because people expect, yeah. you know, a certain safe yeah. environment. And 
and some push back and say, yeah. you know, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to have a vaccination to get a meal. And, but uh, we do yeah. it for the safety of you and yeah. me and ever. Sure. So we're not, I'm not an expert. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. And so, but a lot of the experts, I don't know what the, um, what they're saying to CDC right now. I think I think they're kind of like on both sides of the corner. Maybe like yes, thing yes, the people are. Well, nice I think it corner. changes so quick. You know, yeah. it's we're making it up as we go along. Damn, Joe. So like you know, I'm like I'm thinking like I was talking <laughs> to one of one of my LinkedIn friends, Dr. Jane Morgan, about on uh, LinkedIn. You know about called she's the expert at uh, Piedmont, uh, the executive director for Piedmont on um, COVID. 19 issues and vaccination and you know mm -hmm. different things and um, i'm like damn Doc, i call dr j dr j it sounds like we're building up for another damn back booster shot you know what i mean i already had to, i had to <laughs> vaccinate and i had the booster now it sounds like you know it's the way you talk and everybody talk is like oh, come on now i don't have to why are we are we gonna have another damn shot you know what i mean you know she of course she and her Professional ways don't didn't answer it. You know, I mean, like you know, she used a good word. Well, thing you know, she used the the good words. You know, what I mean, like mm -hmm. CDC words or whatever. You know, but um, shit. like you know, <laughs> I don't think we're solving that one here on Straight Talk from on. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna solve that one. You know, I, I'm not trying to solve. It. I'm just trying to you know figure it out. You know, what I mean, like well, I think uh, as this summer, I think we'll have a really great summer, and I don't see. You know, masks continuing. Well, but I don't. People like saying, get them damn masks anyways. Like, and um, I don't. So I'm down with not having no masks, but I just want to make sure it's right. Did right, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, um, they said, I'm just going to say this about it, and I'm not going to, you know, because we're not going to stop on a straight talk for a while, <laughs> is that uh, people are saying that um, people who, are, who have not taken, who have not got the shots are the ones who's actually getting, getting the uh, acquiring the vaccine, I mean, acquiring the um, virus. virus. And so, certainly statistically, it would say that if you looked at the yeah. statistics with it. Yeah. Well, okay, Joe. Well, Bruce, Joe. that's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And well, Bruce I really appreciate all your, you do for the community yeah. and the youth and the yeah. Chittenden County and what you've done in Rutland that uh, probably a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, they don't know about it. There's a lot, lot to it. So, thank you. Thank you, sir, for supporting us as well. You do for all of us. You say over 30 years, God, it's a long time. Well, you know what? Joe, you know, well, we got to do it, man. You know, we got to do it because, you know, how in the world are we going to feel good about ourselves if we don't help these youth and families, you know, be who they want to be without worrying about how they can make another goal, you know? And it's the goal, the steps are easy. Like, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, or Indian chief, all I got to do is, like, t introduce you to a doctor, lawyer, or Indian chief because I know them. Right. And how easy is that, man? You know what I mean? Just got to give them, just got to do it. You know what I mean? And so. And, uh, the, and the doctor, Indian Lord Chief, have to be willing to right. say, hey, come on in. Let me show you what I know. No doubt about it. Let me show it. you how I got here. No doubt about it. And that's what, uh, you know, you, that's, that's, you expect of me and you yeah. expect no doubt about it. other people. Yes, I do. And I think, like, you know, you got to, they have to do it because this ain't just Bruce's kids. It's like all of our, all our peeps. You know, we got to try to do what we can. And then earn our points in heaven in the world, you know, we got to earn our points too, you know. So, yes, sir, thank you very much. And um, I'm, um, I'm hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I sent you something about, uh, I think uh, you and Mimi about. The tattoo. Yeah, about the, uh, we, they want to do it in, in summer. Yeah. So you can look that over and see what's good. And yeah, we'll get you, know. you some dates. And... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sir, I will shake your hand. Thank you. Yes, sir, thank you very much. And that'll be all for our show. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks.